Hi guys, so this is my anime overview of my shows. If you have never watched any of them, um, please do, but here's a story. This is my overview of Ruby. If you haven't now watched Ruby, this is Ruby. This is like the huntsman of the storyline of like special like um, storyline. And well, you know that volume seven came out. And if you guys have not watched it, watch it. It's really good. So, um, the story talks about of old language and also it talks about the history where man was created by dust, including like, and there also there was magic dust. And the magic dust creates um, huntresses to use their abilities. Well, you see, um, during that time, there was a lot of hatred going on and everything, and people couldn't like stop their petty differences. And then we have huntsmen that you know, save them, but the problem is that, um, the people, the reason why people will hate each other if feared is because they created these monsters called the Grim, and the Grim only tracked to hate and violence, so they would go and they would destroy anything in their path. Well, so during the story, we see these, um, kids that go into this academy to learn being huntresses and to learn to use their powers and everything, and, and then they started to become a group and they become a team and so if you have not know this is Ruby this is her I think mostly the story talks about her her life including her sister including her friends because during each of the volumes they learn their challenges and their fears and and they're learning by it that um you can't run away from mistakes. Um, you can't run away from your past or you have to move on in order to live. And you just have to push on to be a better leader. Um, that's what I love this show is because each character starts to grow up a little bit. And, and knowing that being a huntress is not just being a, um, a warrior of, of hope. It's you'll know you'll have to create a lot of challenges and, 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 and make choices that may or may not get you killed. And so it's like that a lot. <laughs> but then also we meet other new cast as we met the uncle named Crow. I think he's kind of cool, except he drinks a lot. But also he's kind of cool. He's kind of like the guy who has good wisdom, but also he helps out in a certain way. Also, we have met um, Yang's uh, mother. She's a clan leader of one of the clans and she's um there's a secret about her that i will never tell you sorry can't gotta watch it but i hoping that there's i'm hoping still more stuff goes on i just finished volume seven and i'm still kind of like iffy on some parts like um what's gonna happen now that that you know at the ending of volume seven i can't tell you but i'm hoping that there's more hope to it i'm hoping that there's you know, just some stuff that we still haven't covered yet. Is there a way to kill Salem? Is there a way? Like, like I'm, I'm kind of shocked because they learned that Salem can be killed. And I can't tell you why. Because it's kind of shocking. But her story is more sad, but also very, very edgy. But it's a really good one. And so this was my, my favorite anime. I can't wait when volume 8 comes out because I still want to know more what's going to happen. And just knowing that, we need to know. The only one thing I'm still kind of like wondering about is um, even though the characters have grown up so much, I believe we still need to know more about each one of them to where that is it there more to their side of the stories about how they become huntresses but we already know how ruby became a huntress because her mom was a huntress and we don't know how yang but i think yang wanted to be because i think she wanted to find her mom or she wanted to know more about the the challenges of life because i believe when her mom like i told you about her mom her mom actually loved when she was just a little girl and so she could be like trying to show her mom that she can defend herself without having her or like showing that she can like be independent without her because she didn't have her for many years that could be it or she just wants to tell her mom that I'm here you're here and don't worry I'll be fine or we just we have different scenarios going on here and you know one of the girls um this girl right here her name is Wise. she's actually the princess of a town 
and I'm hoping that there's more development over with her sister and her brother. Now we kind of know that her father's a scumbag, and watch the show if you don't know the reason why, but I'm hoping there, there's more to it to where I'm hoping her and her sister can have a more of a relationship, just like how, uh, this is Yang right here, this is Yang, I'm hoping she and her mom, you know, would become more friends and help out and this woman right here she's like my favorite um i forgot how her name is but she's um she's very um very silent but she has grown so much to where that she like guys it's crazy what you think like all these characters have changed and grew up so much like when i first watched volume one ruby just wanted to be a huntress but then guess what she started now to become a really brave leader like very she's she's knowing now that becoming a huntress is not just protecting people it's knowing what's right and knowing what you need to do because there's a lot of like parts where there's a lot of people that want to create a manic and she wants to create safety and so it's kind of like i have to say no to your thing but i know what's right and that's what being a team leader is like just because someone is saying, oh, you know, I this is right, you need to follow my lead. And she's like, no, I'm going to follow my own lead and know what's right. That's what being a dream leader is. That's what it is. And so that's my story for it. You guys have to watch these. They're really good. Hoping you guys love it. So I'm hoping you have a lovely day. So there's more to come. So I'm hoping you guys have a lovely day. So bye.